that on time, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulahi al-kareem wa ala alihi wa sahabihi jameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As you all, brothers and sisters, know that uh, we have started this uh, series of the reminders and the dua every uh, evening in the last 10 nights. So inshallah, in our continuation of the series, uh, today's speaker is none but uh, our own brother Shahid Farooqi. He is responsible for Islamic Learning Foundation. And his topic uh, for his talk, inshallah, is Arise and Warn, Standing Up at Night. Brother Shahid Farooqi. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Wajeem. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, in the whole Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned or commanded to Prophet sallallahu by using the word kum, arise, two times. One in Suratul al-Muddasir, another time in Suratul al-Muzzambi. In Surah al-Muddasir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya ayyuhal muddassir, kum fa'anzir. O you in robe, one arise and warn. In second time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya ayyuhal muzzammin, kum illayla illa qalila. O you in robe, one, Stay up during the night, except a little. Brothers and sisters, these two commandments are different in their nature. But at the same time, they are complementing each other. One emphasizes the importance of getting up and gearing up for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And other one is to humiliate oneself in front of the Creator, glorify Him, and committing to the endeavor of spiritual closeness. Prophet Muhammad responded the first command by initiating the mission, announcing the prophethood, declaring the kibriyai and tawheed of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Challenging and shunning the false gods, rejecting all rituals or laws, imposing on people from the powerful of the society, giving hands to destitute, weak, disenfranchised members of the society so they can rise and strive. Prophet Muhammad also responded the command of kum fa'anzir by inviting people to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the ultimate truth. Engage them into good and prohibiting the evil. Gathering and organize those who respond by breaking the chains of slavery and by getting them out of the darkness of ignorance and marching towards the light of knowledge, accepting them in the bonds of love and care, cultivating their minds and purifying their hearts. At the same time, he was facing the humiliation on the street and in the haram from the leaders of Makkah and hostility from those who used to calling him Sadiq wa Amin. Walking on thorns, stone and bleed to death, pushed away and forced to leave his beloved city and migrated to Medina. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went through 38 wars and armed conflicts in 23 years, but he never stopped. It was a tireless effort, regardless of attempts of assassination, being targeted of magic and poison. That was his response 
of kum fa anzir one time he came back home he was tired he was dusty he sat down and fatima radhiyallahu anha reached her and trying to wash his head at the same time a caller called from outside and say he said there is a caravan just arrived would you like to go to invite them prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam got up and about to leave his daughter fatima radhiyallahu anha reminded her that you just came why don't you have some rest prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded the time of rest is gone during this time prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also cried out to his lord and he asked his lord to you my lord i complain of my weakness lack of support and the humiliation and i made to receive you are the lord of the weak and you are my lord to whom do you leave me to a distant person who receives me with, with me with hostility or to an enemy you have given power over me as long as you are not displeased with me i do not care what i face i would however be much happier with your mercy i seek refuge in the light of your face by which all darkness is dispelled and both this life and the life to come are put in the right course against incurring your wrath or being the subject of your anger to you i submit until i earn your pleasure everything is powerless without your support dear brothers and sisters prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also responded the command kumil laila illa qalila stay up during the night but little he stood up so long that his wife got concern of his swelling feet his nights for the meetings with allah he let his emotions loose and cried without hesitation in hopes of gaining the all merciful forgiveness sometime he repeats aya same aya over and over he pled in his night prayer for his ummah the mercy and forgiveness of allah he cried so much in his late night prayers he recite long sura with the hope of the future generation of muslims to be guided along the straight path dear brothers and sisters we have we are going and we are continue doing qiyam the nights few nights left but we have to also commit ourselves the response he gave to the command of kum fa anz we have to get out and warn people friends and folks and neighbors and invite them to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i'm going to have some duas inshallah share with you these are all duas of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was the missionary he was the warrior he was the one who initiated the mission and we are the one who took oath and committed to this mission and king from whom you will you exalt whom you will and you abase whom you will you make the night to enter into the day and you make the day to enter into the night you bring forth the living from the dead and you bring forth the dead from the living ya allah you provide for whom soever you will without reckoning 
the merciful and mercy giver in this world and in the hereafter. You grant any of these to whom you will and, with, and withhold from whom you will. You have mercy on us that we are freed from needing the mercy of anyone else beside you. O Allah, unite our hearts, reconcile our differences, guide us to the paths of peace, save us by taking us from darkness to the light, make us avoid indecency that is obvious and that is hidden. Bless us in our hearing, sight, hearts, spouses and offspring and relent for you are indeed oft relenting. O Allah, forgive our transgressions, our ignorance, excesses in our affairs, and what you know better than us. O Allah, forgive us, forgive our over-seriousness and levity, our mistakes and intentional wrongs, all of which are in us. O Allah, forgive the sins we have committed in the past and the sins we will commit in the future. Those sins we have committed in secret and those we have committed openly, as well as those sins that you are more aware of than us. O Allah, you are the advancer and you are the delayer and you are powerful over all things. O Allah, we ask you firmness in the matter and we ask you for resolute consciousness in actions. O Allah, we ask you to enable us to be grateful for your blessings to, and to worship you in the best way. And we ask you for a truthful tongue and a sound heart. We seek refuge in you from the evil of what you know, and we ask of you the good of what you know. O oh Allah, we ask your forgiveness for what you know and for you are indeed the knower of the unseen. O oh Allah, we ask that you grant us success to do good, to abstain from forbidden things, to love the poor and that you forgive us and have mercy on us. And if you wish to try any people then take our lives away while not being touched by trial. O Allah, we ask you for your love, the love of whoever loves you, and the love of any work that draws us closer to loving you. O Allah, reliever of worries, remover of anxiety, Responder to the calls of those under stress. The merciful, the mercy giver in this world and in the hereafter. It is you who will have mercy on us. So have mercy on us in a way that frees us from seeking the mercy of anyone else besides you. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وقنا عذابنا ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين فانصرنا على القوم الفاسقين فانصرنا على القوم المنافقين ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا واهدنا واسترنا واجبرنا وارزقنا وارفعنا اللهم احيينا سعيدا وامتنا شهيدا 
اللهم احيينا سعيدا وامتنا شهيدا اللهم احيينا سعيدا وامتنا شهيدا او لا اكسبت اور عبادات اكسبت اور دعوات او لا اكسبت اور ایفرٹس وات وی ار ڈوئنگ ٹو گین یور فیور اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اکسپٹ اور آل ایفرٹس ان داوا ان ریلیف ان ریچنگ آؤٹ ٹو دوز ہو آر وکٹم آف ان جسٹس سبحان کا اللہ و بحمدی کا و نشد اللہ اللہ انت نستخ فرور کا و نتوب علیک اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والعصر ان الانسان لفی خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاك الله خير شاهد بي um, for these uh, wonderful words and the dua so inshallah we'll continue this program tomorrow at the same time inshallah tomorrow the speaker will be um, our Dr. Sabil inshallah he will share us with the, uh, the topic for Ramadan Uh, sharing with the community. So inshallah tomorrow at the same time. And jazakallah khair everybody else for joining. We'll close here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Wa alaikum as salam. 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 Wa alaikum as salam.